Uh, you are watching Kolsky Drones, welcome back. Today we've got the JJRC Q61 military truck. Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got something a little bit different. We've got the JJRC Q61. And as you can see it's a military vehicle from the world from World War II by the looks. Let's have a quick look at the truck. So it's quite well detailed to be honest, the opening doors, you can see inside, inside the cab, so it is quite well detailed, it's got nice insignia on the door and on the front, it has a hatch at the back that goes down so you can drop the back of the vehicle, so you can get stuff in there, I believe it'll carry 500 grams, um, I haven't tested that out yet but we'll test that in a further video. Because I've also got the Q60 coming as well, which is the six wheel version. So yeah, it's really nicely finished off. Your battery goes in here. So it has a 600 milliamp hour battery. And it simply fits under the bonnet, which I like. The nice. It's a nice touch really, not having to go underneath every time you want to plug it in. So let's just plug it in. Should we get it the right way around? So as you can see it's got working headlights, which is the controller it comes with, it has two speeds, high and low, there isn't a massive difference between speeds and don't get me wrong, this is not quick by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not meant to be, it's kind of a scale military truck, hence why I bought it. I, want, I, if it, I like war vehicles and this was a no brainer to me, it was like £24 I think from Banggood. It has got four wheel drive driven by a, a motor in the centre which I'll show you in a second. So as you can see you've got your controller, you've got two speeds, high and low. There's no beep, it doesn't tell you it's beeping. And this does not have proportional steering or proportional throttle, hence why you've no adjustment on here at all. So it's a standard one speed truck and the steering's all on, nothing kind of thing. Now you can upgrade this because you can fit a servo in here and you can obviously fit your own speed controller if you wanted and motor to make it proportional. It doesn't really bother me. So underneath you've got leaf springs. So you've got steel springs underneath here bolted onto the back differential and the same on the front. Bolted onto the front differential. I believe this has metal gears inside here, or so it looks like on the picture. I've not taken it in bits to have a look. And that's your drive there, and it's driven by prop shafts and universal joints on the way up. So you can see that's working there. There is quite a lot of detail to this truck, and I really do like it. And for the money, I think it's fantastic. It's a toy truck, yeah, but for me, it's it's a big toy. It's a big boy's toy. Um, it, I like the military vehicles and there's the, a the series of these coming out from JGRC. There's some more coming out uh, in the next couple of weeks. Or, or so I'm led to believe, if you look on Banggood's site, uh, the 62 and the 63, different looking trucks. And the, again, in a, a variety of formations, either six wheels or four wheels. But I think, for the money, I think it's really, really nice. As you can see, it's got the suspension's okay on it. It's a crawler, obviously, it's not, you've got no, you've got no power in this thing, and that's how you adjust your tracking, if you like, to make it drive in a straight line, so you would adjust this unit here. Now, I, I don't mind it not having any of these things, and hence that's why the price, if it, if it had proportional steering and proportional throttle, it'd be a very expensive truck, obviously. And you get what you pay for. To me, it's brilliant. You can load it up at the back if you get 500 grams in there. Got a couple of these. That's some fun with my little boy. And it's just that's what it's all about. It's all about having fun. So I really like it. So I'm gonna go. Let's go video it outside. I'll just go drive it around the garden so you can see what it drives like. And then we'll come back and I'll tell you what I really think.
Okay, welcome back. So, you've seen it drive. As you can see, it's no speed demon. You'll see on the video, I'll show you where I pressed the button to make it go faster. It didn't really make that much difference, to be honest. I expected it not to. But it was so much fun. It reminded me of when I was a kid and I'd play with action men and I'd play army games when I was little. Maybe you don't do that so much now. But for me, it was a proper blast back to my childhood. It was great fun. It steers actually really nicely. It's precise. You can make it go where you want it to go. I want to get the other one. I'm going to film. I'll film a video. We'll load them up with the back with some soil and what have you, and play with them in the woods and show you what it's like there. But I just wanted to give you a quick show of what it looked like outside, how it drove, and yeah, I'm impressed. I love it. For the money, I don't think you can go wrong. If you're looking at getting your kids something for Christmas, this is so much better than some of the rubbish you'll get in toy shops. For this kind of money in a toy shop, you'll get a radio control car that will be garbage. At least this one's somewhat like scale. It drives well. All right, I haven't got proportional steering and proportional throttle, but for the money, you can't really go wrong. Thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. This is Kolsky Drones. Press start. Thanks very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.